Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen the pictures of Chapel Woods number two, but I'm going to show you some pictures that you haven't seen. And you've heard me talk about this dear sweet lady. This is Ms. Chapel Woods. She's the one that designed and God gave the story to. And there's her husband over there, Bud, and her son, Rory. And uh, we thank the Lord for them. They're visiting here from Branson, Missouri. I've just given them the tour of our church. And uh, we just came out the side door. And as you know, you can see right outside the side door, Chapel Woods number two. Why Chapel Woods number two? Well, Chapel Woods number one is in Branson, Missouri. And uh, Linda, let's go over here to the chapel. We're gonna go through the rain. It's raining here in Southern California. I know it never rains in Southern California, but it is today. And um, we're gonna go inside Chapel Woods, and I'm gonna tell you a little story about Chapel Woods. Uh, because when, uh, when Linda and them designed Chapel Woods, it was bigger than this, obviously, uh, but the city had other ideas, and the city said, no, it can't be bigger than 10 by 10, and so we cut it down, and we will built it like this. Oh. So we were able to get Chapel Woods up without a permit, and this is Chapel Woods. And in the process, Will Ruffin has told the story many times, but in the process, he was talking with Bud and with Linda, and they were talking about getting the materials here, and we had all the materials here, and it was being built. And uh, Will kept coming to me and said, well, I'm talking to Bud about the door. <laughs> and, and, and so they worked through what to do about the door. And Linda had, she was a design engineer as well. And so she was talking about the door and we got the door, but the problem was it was white. Yes. And it was a metal door, which that was okay. We wanted something more aesthetic, more like wood, but we couldn't find one that would fit. And so Will said, I'm gonna get the metal door. And I'm gonna show you the metal door. There is the metal door but it was white. And I said, I like white. However, I think we ought to have a blood red, <laughs> the, the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Oh, yeah. And uh, we, have, uh, we have five chairs on each side. And this is open 24 hours a day. People can come in here and pray. And uh, one of the other things we do here, we are First Southern Baptist Church and Messianic Fellowship. On Shabbat, Shabbat, starts Friday night at sundown and goes to Saturday night sundown. And that fireplace, Lord just... I think he wants to take a picture of that. Okay, I'll let him take his picture. Then I'm going to show you... I'm going to show you one other picture outside the door. I'll let you close it in just a minute. Okay. But there is our golden altar. Oh, yes. All right. Revelation chapter 8 verse 3 says the people of God came together at a golden altar and they offered up incense to God and God could smell it yes. as they offered it on the golden altar on Shabbat Shalom. So it also says there in Revelation 8 verses 3 that the prayers of the saints went up with that incense. Well, I'm just very practical minded. So we come out here and set chairs up around the golden altar on Shabbat and everybody is given a piece of paper and a pencil and they write their prayer request. And we put that prayer request in the altar with the incense to do what had happened in Revelation chapter eight, verse three, where it said the incense goes toward heaven and the prayers of the saints. Yes. And so that's what we do uh, there on Shabbat. Now, yeah. <laughs> now, around over here, back out here, you see David's Tabernacle. And that's the next uh, program we're working on. 